हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग होप यू आर ऑल फाइन टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग द बेसिक्स ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर सो बिलीव मी इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट ऑफ योर कोर्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग इन माइक्रो प्रोसेसर ऑलवेज यू वर्क इन हेक्साडेसिमेंट सिस्टम एवरी नंबर रिटर्न इन दिस सब्जेक्ट इज ऑलवेज ए हेक्साडेसिमेंट सो स्टूडेंट्स sometimes wonder why what is wrong with our old decimal system why you should come up with the new thing hexadecimal i am telling you it's a necessity of this century now in decimal a single digit goes from say 0 to 9 in decimal say in decimal single digit can go from 0 to say 9 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 nine. that is it gives 10 different values are you getting my points it gives 10 different values do you understand that much now inside the computer you know everything is in the form of zeros and ones inside the computers everything stored is in zeros and ones do you understand that much everything stored in the computer is in the binary form so when i means try to convert a decimal number into a binary i face a problem what is the problem here is the problem what is zero in binary obviously it is zero so the problem is how many binary bits do i devote to represent one digit how many binary bits do i devote to represent one digit if i devote only one bit it will have only two option it will have only two option 0 and 1 0 and 1 if you use two bits it will get four option 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 similarly if you use if you can use three bits it will get eight options 0 to 7 my problem is i want to go from 0 to 9 i have 10 values now to represent that three bits are not sufficient i need four bits fine tell me do you understand that point i am making so far fine you can say sir you need four bits obviously you can use four bits obviously i can use four bits Zero, so zero will become now zero will become now zero 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 one will become zero 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 one so i'm sure everybody knows how to do this come on don't say not there is a trick i'm telling you there is a trick you must know these things 8 4 2 if you want 9 you will write 1 0 0 1 if you want 5 you will write 0 1 then come on 1 if you want 4 you will write 0 1 0 0 if you want 2 then you will write 0 0 1 0 like this So if you want nine, obviously uh, you can take eight and one. That is one zero zero one. Fine. I'm sure you must know that. So coming back to represent one digit, I used four bits. Is this point clear? Tell me, is this point clear? Okay. Problem in is. in 4 bits 
you can get 16 combinations in 4 bits you can get 16 combinations you have used only 10 combinations getting my problem problems from 0 to 9 means you are getting 10 combinations but to represent 4 bits you can get 16 combination but you have used only 10 combination in case of decimal so that means there are 6 combinations which I forbidden they don't have any equivalent representation on the hexadecimal form are you understanding the point I am making so then what goes wrong if I try to do any arithmetic operation like simplest for example take one simplest example 8 plus 2 8 plus 2 so 8 will become 0 8 will become 1 0 0 0 2 will become 0 0 1 0 so obviously I want to add 8 with 2 so I got 1 0 1 0 simple which has no representation over here as a digit see so if I am writing 4 digit 4 bits I am sure I am going to get 16 combinations I need to name each of these 16 combinations there come the means need for creating the new system that has 16 combinations fine right? please tell me the concept of using the hexadecimal numbers clear now if you use decimal numbers you will get 10 combinations if you use hexadecimal number systems you go to that part means the initial part remember that from 0 to 9 you we used 10 combinations but in case of hexadecimal system you can get 16 combinations how like this means in hexadecimal numbers in hexadecimal numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 means from 0 to 9 we have 10 numbers then a is 10 b is 11 c is 12 d is 13 e is 14 f is 15 so a is 10 b is 11 c is 12 d is 13 like e is 14 f is 15 like this we are getting total 16 combinations starting from 0 to f means 0 to 15 we are getting total 16 combinations when we are using means hexadecimal number so first of all your advantage is means is every possible binary combination has now been represented as a digit Moreover, on a single digit, you can get 16 values. That means, you can store more information in less space. Now, over here, the difference seems to be very small. 10 with respect of 16, it seems to be very small. Nah? But it is not small. If you look at a 4 digit number, a 4 digit number in decimal system can be 9999 9, 9, 9. whereas a 4 digit number in hexadecimal system will be FFFF F, F, F. so the values in this decimal number is roughly 10,000 you can say but here you can get 65,535 so FFFF F, F, F gives us 65,535 do you see the difference both are using the same space but who is giving you more information yes hexadecimal yes 
you got my point hexadecimal uses the every possible combinations so when it gets multiplied over a vegan number so you can see the difference fine that was roughly 10000 in case of 99999 binary in decimal system 4 bit decimal 4 digit decimal system it was roughly 10000 in case of binary but in hexadecimal it is 65535 just think what if if you take more bigger number more bigger values that's why every number in microprocessor is in the form of decimal do not get confused inside the computer everything is binary means inside the computer whatever you are writing you are writing through your means keyboard that is the input to the processor or input to a computer whatever you are writing beautiful words you are writing that is not going to the processors the processors are getting only in the form of binaries zeros and ones only zeros and ones so it is not the binary form of decimal numbers it is the binary form of hexadecimal numbers you got my point inside any computer everything is binary but it is not the binary form of decimal numbers it is the binary form of hexadecimal numbers so that you can represent combination of every four bits is that clear is that clear now this conversion should be very fast I'll in next 30 40 minutes you'll completely understand the basics of writing a hexadecimal number suppose you have suppose you have zero h what will be zero h so obviously zero h will be zero 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 fine now three h what will be three h three will be zero zero one one fine now say 5h tell me what will be 5h 0101 say 9h what will be 9h 1001 say ah what will be ah a means 10 10 means 1010 say you have bh what will be BH 1011? You are getting my points? Understanding now? Now instead of taking 0H, now I am taking 00H. Now 00H will become what? 0000. Again 0000. Means all these are 4 bit numbers. Here I am getting 8 bit numbers. 4 bit plus 4 bit. So it is an 8 bit number. What will be 0000 H? It will be 0000. 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 again 0000 000, 000, 000, and 0000. 000, 000, 000. Means 4, 4, 4, 4. Means it is a 16 bit number. Right? So what if, if I am writing 35 H? So 3 will become? 0, 0, 1, 1. 5. 5 will become 0, 1, 0, 1. 4 bit plus 4 bit. Similarly, if I am writing FFH, if I am writing FFH, FFH, so it will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. If I am writing FFFF, 
H, it will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 12 bit numbers. Fine. See if I am writing say 93H, 93H, 93H. What will be 9? 9 will be 1, 0, 0, 1. What will be 3? 3 will be 0, 0, 1, 1. So, again I am getting 8 bit numbers. Fine. So now tell me, quick first tell me what will be the value of F, 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 F. Be louder, come on, be louder. It will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, Means F, 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 F is a 16 bit number. What will be the 0, 0, 0, H? It will be 16 zeros. Are you getting my point? Are you getting my points? F F F F zero 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 H three five four three H one two three four H all these are sixteen bit numbers. All these are sixteen bit numbers.